Okay, so this question is the last question um, in question nine of the 2015 National 5 uh, physics paper. And it says the child now drops a similar stone vertically. I'm just going to highlight some things here that I think are important. The child drops the stone. In the original question, the child threw the stone horizontally. It is a similar stone, so it's not the same one. And it is dropped vertically as opposed to being thrown horizontally. So uh, the height is the same. I guess that's also important. Um, so the question is, state how the time taken for this stone to reach the water compares to the time taken for the stone in B. So the stone, I think, if I remember rightly, originally took 0 0.80 seconds to hit the ground uh, or hit the water. And that was when it was thrown horizontally. Is there any effect? whenever the stone is just dropped. Now, you may well have seen examples of this in the classroom. Um, ball bearings being fired horizontally and another one dropped uh, vertically at the same time from the same height. And if you remember, they both hit the ground at the same time. And the key reason for that, of course, is that the only force acting on both of these objects, both stones or both ball bearings, is the force due to gravity. And so they both accelerate down at exactly the same rate. And so they hit the ground at the same time. So in this case, the stones hit the water at exactly the same time. So how does the time taken for this stone compare? Um, you would need to say the times are the same. 